Hey guys, I'm here to do a haul. I have some things from Nordstrom's, Macy's, and Lime Crime, and then also um, the biggest part is going to be from Ulta. So from Nordstrom's, I actually got them at the um, like the little Mac kiosk thing. And it's just this lash applicator. I haven't used it yet. I've been trying to wait, so that's why I need to get this haul out. The lash applicator is good, of course, to apply lashes. It just kind of holds it down like a big tweezer. The edges on this, on the end of these are uh, more rounded where I was freaking out kind of a little bit, putting like the tweezers a little bit too close to my eye. Um, I didn't want to scratch it. And then I got this brush. This brush is the 287. I've heard that um, this brush is really good for um, applying concealer under your eyes and the next things that I got were from Macy's um, it's these two bronzers they're from Smashbox I heard about them from Rosita Applebaum here on YouTube and I just had to get my hands on them because she basically said that they were um, being discontinued so I purchased Sunkissed Matte bronzer and I also purchased suntan matte bronzer in comparison the suntan matte which is this one over here on this side is definitely darker than the sun kissed but since they are being discontinued i just wanted to try them both out and um see which one i like more or maybe i do like sun kissed matte and i can use it for um something else maybe like layering um bronzers so next is um a purchase that i got from lime crime um, I did hear that they like had like this huge issue with people's credit cards and things like that, but I had never purchased anything from them before, um, and I just wanted to try their products out. I hear that so many good things about them. So this is what it looks like. The packaging is so cute, and I purchased these two, which is Cashmere, which is like pretty well known, and then also Wicked. So let me show them to you. So this is cashmere. It's like a very grayish, um, purpley tone. And that is cashmere. And then I purchased Wicked, which is like a beautiful, deep, plummy red color. These both are liquid matte lipsticks and they are super beautiful. This one is cashmere, this one is wicked. I'll definitely um, try to put in a picture of what the swatches look like because um, I haven't really figured out the lighting yet that I'm gonna be trying to use while making these videos. So next, I purchased some cute nail polishes from Laura G. Laura G has some amazing like quality nail polishes. They are super duper opaque on your nails. I literally just needed like two coats sometimes honestly with some nail polishes I'll put up to four because they don't give me that intensity that I like. These are the colors that I purchased from Laura G's website. I purchased Fifth Avenue. It reminds me a lot of actually of Cashmere, the liquid lipstick I just showed you guys, but a like lighter version like if it was like watered down with a little bit of white or something like that. I purchased Ice Latte. It's a pretty, how would I describe this one? It's a pretty like light, it's like a pinky nude. That's how I would describe it. And then I purchased Madrid. Honestly, in the bottle it looks very like a, I would call it like a sangria color. Um, but on, it actually looks very like, like a dark burgundy-ish reddish color. It's so pretty. And I like to actually use these with, um, something that I purchased from Ulta. So let's get into the Ulta. I like to put these nail polishes on and then put the big matte top coat from Sally Hansen over it. It looks so good and it's like pretty weird. Um, it makes your nail polishes mad. Okay, so next from Ulta, I purchased the Buffer Airbrush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush from Tarte. 
It's super soft and I really like that it's flat at the like at the base so that I could just put it on my makeup table when I'm using it. And next we have Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. My friend uses this and she she's so in love with it. She like is definitely a bye bye under girl eye. My friend that uses this, she says nothing but good things about it. So I decided I need to try it. I have tried it actually on her and it's very thick. So a little bit of that goes a long way and I'm prepared to try and work with that. I don't know how you guys would portray the consistency of MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but that's what I'm used to. And Bye Bye Under Eye is definitely a lot thicker than that. It's like working with a lot thicker than that, yeah. My next purchase from Ulta is my all-time favorite top base coat for shiny nails. Not the matte one. So not the big matte. It would be um, just like regular nail polish top coat. It's super fast drying for me. My mom says it doesn't really work for her, but I don't know. It's the Secha Vite. I absolutely love Secha Vite. I've been using it for years now, and it's definitely like... I would have a hard time leaving it. It's just that good. My next purchase from Ulta is going to be the Tartelette In Bloom palette. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So it comes with this. It's just like a few makeup, I guess, ideas and makeup looks that you can achieve with this palette. And it is so pretty. Ugh, I love the gold. This palette is just so pretty. It's like neutrals and have the gold packaging. I just think it's so pretty and I can't wait to use it, which is why I've been trying to get this haul out forever. Um, I've been like hoarding all these products so I can get this haul out to you guys. So I actually purchased another palette. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is the original one. Um, everybody pretty much already has this palette but I haven't like really been interested in it until recently I was like let me just go for it I was actually surprised um, at the packaging it's kind of like metal so yeah I was kind of like what the hell it has a like little magnetizing thing hello 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 <laughs> um, so yeah, so these also are very neutral colors, very beautiful. And these colors, they're so pretty. They're all very like warm, neutral colors and I just can't wait to start some makeup look with this Too Faced um, palette. I'm not really interested in the other ones, um, the semi-sweet or the like Bon Bon one that came out. Yeah, those are really catch my attention. My next purchase from Ulta, it's the Nail Teaks Non-Acetone Remover with Aloe Vera and Conditioners. I love this nail polish remover. I actually heard about it from Nicole Guerrero here on YouTube. Oh my gosh. And I just, ever since then, I've always been using that. This bottle is empty. It's not a clear nail polish remover. I actually just put it in, um, an old nail polish remover bottle that I had that I was like done with. I was like, you know what? I'm just so done with this nail polish remover from Walgreens. It is like making my nails peel not good. Um, so yeah, I, but I love the bottle. So I just dumped it all in there. Next, I got this Real Techniques. It looks like a beauty blender. Um, I also purchased this from Ulta and I was inspired to make this purchase because of Jaclyn Hill here. She uses it um, kind of pretty much as a beauty blender. She said at first it didn't really work for her, but then later on, um, it ended up working bomb for her. So I was like, okay, if it's good for you, it must be good for me. And next, um, from Ulta, they have like a huge perfume section and I actually had like a 20% off your entire purchase. So I went a little ham and I restocked on my Gucci Guilty. <laughs> I've always had my eye on this perfume and I was finally like, you know what, I'm going to get 20% off. Why hold off? So I got the C perfume. Or... Mm, the perfume. 
<laughs> by Giorgio Armani. Um, it's the one with the black top. There is one with the pink top, but um, I don't really like how that one smells. It smells too much like, I don't know, like mandarin -y for me. This one, it just it smells a lot better. Let me just make sure. Okay, and next, um, I actually forgot to mention something. It's um, from House of Lashes. I placed an order. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> yes. So I purchased the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. I purchased the dark one because I've always used the duo glue and it's the, not the dark one of that one, just like the regular white one. And whenever it dries and I miss a spot or like I forget to cover it up and then I see my friend and she's always like, I can see her eyelash glue and I'm like okay so yeah so maybe hopefully with this one she won't be complaining about seeing my eyelash glue <laughs> and yeah I think that's it thank you for sitting with me through this video it's definitely shorter than my first video and yeah I just want to thank you guys uh, for watching and um, I hope you guys have a great day a great night or wherever you are just have the time of your life okay bye peace out <laughs> so you guys thought it was over right yeah i thought it was over too but no it's not over yet because now it's the next day after i filmed the last haul so i realized that um i forgot another bag here um, so pretty much I bought some things from a store in Concord, um, and they have a bunch of brands that you can usually only find, like, online. So, yeah, every time I go in that area, or sometimes I just go to that store for the brands, um, I stock up. So let me show you what I purchased. I'm going to start off with Morphe. I purchased the M508 brush. It's basically like a little smudger brush. I plan on using this brush just to smudge under my waterline just to give it more of a smoked out effect, but yet still very precise. Next, I purchased, I literally like freaked out, like, oh my god, oh my god, um, that they even carry this brand now. Um, it's the Coco Lashes. I'm so excited. I always hear about Lustre Lux um, here on YouTube. Always talk about the brand and especially how much she's in love with the Soho lashes. Lustre Lux here on YouTube, she's always talking about them and she always uses them in her tutorials. I think she's moved on to like a different type of lash, but she was definitely using Coco lashes um, for a very long time on her YouTube videos and they always look so nice on her. Um, I usually like the more wispy type of lash and this is definitely a long, thick in some areas. Um, wispy type of lash so I'm so excited to finally get my hands on them next I purchased the shadow shields they look like that I purchased the shadow shields because it's not like they're a must-have but I've definitely seen a lot of tutorials where it's easier to clean up like um, fallout from glitter or even dark eyeshadows under your eyes and then also um, it seems easier when you're trying to get like that cat eye effect with your shadows um, I have tried to use tape and I've used there's a method where I've seen some youtubers they'll put the tape like on the back of their hands just to get it like less I don't know sticky and then I've tried it and I don't know, I don't know if my hands weren't dusty or what it was. They weren't as linty as they should have been. But when I took it off of like my eye when I had placed the tape and I was done doing my eyeshadow or whatever, it definitely gave me the cat eye effect, no doubt. But um, when I was pulling it off, it like hurt. Like I don't know if I have sensitive skin. I don't know what's the case, but it definitely um, like was pulling my skin. Again, I'm talking about regular tape. The tape was pulling my skin kind of harshly. So um, I just wanted to see how these work. And hopefully I like them. Hopefully they do what they're supposed to do. My next purchase from there is uh, from Morphe. And it's actually just a... Um, 
a mixing tray and a spatula. Um, I do again, these are things that I didn't really need. Um, I just wanted to take advantage of it. I'm not like some huge makeup artist that's doing makeup and needs to mix paints and foundations all together. No, not at all. Um, sometimes I just feel like, you know, when I'm doing something that may require like loose glitter to pour it out on um, or foundation, when I feel like I want it to just sit and be a little bit more flat, just dipping my brush into it. Um, I don't really like putting things on the back of my hand because I forget that they're there and then I'll move around and grab some things and then... Um, it hasn't happened to me yet, but I just don't want it to happen where like say you have something on the back of your hand and then you go and reach for something and then you stain your clothes with whatever you have on the back like a swatch or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I just didn't want to risk it anymore. So I just decided to just... Why not? It's $12.99. And a spatula would definitely come in handy for like when you need to um, scoop lipsticks out because you're like done with them and you can't rub it on your lips anymore. You can definitely scoop it out with that and still use the product. I have definitely got to the nub on some of the lipsticks and I just scoop it out. I'm so tired of throwing away lipsticks or back to macking lipsticks that um, still have some, technically some product in there um, and kind of being forced to buy another one so I just want to start scooping it out save a few dollars save a couple more uses out of it why not girl my next purchase from the store is gonna be the color switch solo by Vera Mona and it looks like this this tool works best when you have a makeup brush that has a certain color on there that you no longer want to use for your look or something like that or you just want to keep, I don't know, blending something out um, and that's your favorite brush. You can just pretty much just glide it over this and then it will remove the color that's on that brush which is so awesome. It saves you so much time and yeah it's so cool the next thing that i purchased is not from that store um but in that mall they have a mac store and i actually purchased the color nylon the color is very i would describe it as a as a very light yellow but very shimmery um i've seen so many posts where i'm Razzy or i'm i'm Re i'm Razzy. Amrei, Amrezi, Amrezi. She's she's uh, said how to say it before, but forgot. Um, so yeah, she uses this color a lot on her tear duct, and um, yeah, I was just like, you know what? I need to try it because her highlight is always popping, always popping. She is like the queen of highlight. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's, now that is really it. I promise that's it. You will not catch me after this video. <laughs> that's going to be it. And right now on my lips, I actually have Wicked, which I technically showed in this video um, earlier yesterday. So yeah, that's really it this time. Um, hope you guys have a good one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Brrrr. <laughs> Brrrr.